Welcome to Mun Zion's Kids for Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for doing everything you've done for us. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. Let us care for one another. Let us be kind and do things by your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul. Got a reason for this joy I can't control. I want to sing, I want to dance, and give everyone a chance to hear about this in this love I know. talking about buckets. So I bought my buckets. That's not really what I meant. I mean, I know you could do a lot with buckets like play the drum, hey, or maybe put a plant in it, True. take it to the beach, build a sand castle, mm -hmm. even put it on your head as a helmet, some people do. Um, but okay. that's not what I meant. When I said buckets, I meant us being bucket Fillers. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about being bucket fillers, but let's go to Roger first for our scripture. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 Thank you, Roger, for our scripture. Today we're talking about the fifth fruit of the Spirit. Do you remember what they all are? Love, 
joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Today, we're talking about kindness. Kindness can be shown with our thoughts, our actions, and our words. How many of you are kind all the time? Me neither. None of us are kind all the time because it's very easy to be unkind to our family and our friends because we're sinners. But with God's help through the fruit of the Holy Spirit, we can work to be kind. Let's watch this Bible story by Saddleback Kids to see how the fruit of the Spirit helped a man to be kind. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. <laughs> The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. In this story about the Good Samaritan, which character showed kindness? Was it the priest, the Levite, or the Good Samaritan? Yep, yeah, it was the Good Samaritan. He showed kindness. He helped the man who had been attacked. He cleaned his sores and took him into an inn or a hotel so that he could rest. He was a bucket filler, and we can be bucket fillers too, especially when we remember how God fills our buckets with his love and his forgiveness and his grace and his mercy. Our scripture says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. When you find it hard to be kind to someone, remember how God is kind to you. Have you filled your bucket today? By Carol McLeod. Illustrated by David Messing. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. 
Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full. And you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. You can fill your bucket too. So how do you fill your bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make others feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their bucket. You will dip into your own bucket too. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's bucket by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You can smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like spending time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places for all. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. For today's craft, we're going to make a bucket. You're going to need a cup, 
a single hole punch, a pipe cleaner, and some permanent markers. The first thing we're going to do is design our bucket. Grab whatever color you want and start coloring. Once you've colored your cup, we're gonna take our hole punch and punch two holes on either side of the cup. Then we're gonna take our pipe cleaner to make our handle. Twist it around. Put it through the other side. And there we have our bucket. Remember, when we use kind thoughts, kind words, and kind actions, we become bucket fillers. We not only fill the buckets of others, but we fill our own bucket as well. Today we have a challenge the bucket filling challenge. This week, I want you to do at least three acts of kindness for someone and let us know what you did. You can either tag us on our Instagram, our Facebook, or email us here and let us know. Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Have a great week. Don't forget to be bucket fillers. See you next time.